on the floor. I am talking and I need you to be quiet. You have our hands, our lips, put your finger on your lips. All right. So that means that we all need help from somebody, some way or somehow, right? We all depend on each other. That is why sometimes we are in need of something and we borrow stuff from our neighbors or even our classmates. Remember, in the classroom, your friend sitting next to you is your neighbor, right? Do we, do we believe in that? Yeah. Neighbor doesn't necessarily have to be somebody who is living next to you in the house. Anybody sitting next to you is a neighbor. All right, so maybe your family asks for flowers or something. So today's lesson is about a poor widow and the prophet Elijah. So for the past three weeks, we have been talking about prophet Elijah, right? And then today, too, we are coming to talk about him. So God asked him to go and prophesy that there is not going to be rain. And because of that, eyes on me, please close it. The people became so mad and they were angry and they, ran, they were running after him. They were chasing after his life. If you were him, would you just sit there? But because he believed in God, he prayed to God and then God directed him on what to do or where to go. So a poor widow came to Elisha. Remember last week also we learned about how prophet Elijah was taken up to heaven. He never died but chariots of fire came from heaven and then took him away. And then while he was going up, he had promised um, Elisha, who was somebody who was working with him like a friend, had requested that he need the favor of God to be on him so that he can take over the work that he was doing. And that was what happened. So while he was taken up to heaven, he dropped his coat and then Elisha hit that. And then he started to use that. So now we all know that prophet Elijah has been taken to heaven, right? And now it is Elisha who is going to take the mantle. When we say mantle, whatever Elisha was doing, he is, he is the one who is going to take in charge and do it now, all right? So Elisha is doing the work now. And then he went to a poor widow. And then remember during that time, it was not raining, so they were starving. Have you, you have, what is the meaning of starve? When there's famine or people are starving, what is what does that mean? Yes, ma mommy, yeah. Yeah, when people are hungry, there's no food because there's no rain. If we study our science, we know that plants need water and sunlight to make their food through photosynthesis, right? There's no rain. So what that means is that there's what? Farming, there's no